Hey my friends, I want to show you a very cool Capture One technique and that is how to add a black or white border around an image that you do with the layer palette. So it's really simple. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into your layers tool. You're going to grab your paintbrush and you're going to right click and make sure that it's a fairly decent size. Uh, set your hardness opacity flow to 100% and don't have any of these options selected down here as of yet. You can play with those later, it'll change how it works, but for now I'm just gonna show you a real quick, basic way to do that. So I'm gonna put this in the my tool in the top right-hand corner, and I'm gonna click. Now you can see if I hit M, that's the mask that it made, so that's about how much overlap that I'm gonna have for my border. And I'm gonna hold down the Shift key, I'm gonna click in the bottom right-hand corner, go to the lower left corner, click, top left corner click and i'm going to come back to the top right and just finish off that so there you go so that would be my border so now if you change that brush size or you hold it off of the image a little bit more you can reduce that size quite a bit so now that we have that selection we can kind of do whatever we want with it so ideally i want to go just black so if i pull down the exposure and the brightness that you can see i've got a nice black border it doesn't always go white, but in this case it will. So I could have a nice white border if I wanted to. The other neat thing that you can do is because it's a layer, I can change the opacity. So if I'm gonna create a nice little you know, darkening or lightning edge in there to create sort of a frame around it, I can do that. The other thing that you can do, and I'm just gonna go ahead and go straight black on that, is right click on the adjustment layer and you can play with the feather or refine mask tools. Now we'll just do the feather for right now, but what this will do is, is this is gonna change the, the sharp edge of the mask and feather it a little bit, just as the tool implies. Let me turn that up. I'll turn the mask off, you can see. So now we get this nice soft edge in there and it does, it does change how it blends in on the highlights and shadows. If we do cancel, let me do that with the refine mask. Now my understanding is, is the refine mask tries to find edges that it should be blending with and to kind of clean up the mask itself, kind of like auto masking. And you can kind of see that happening in the clouds right over here on the right and a little bit on the left. So depending on how much of that effect that you apply, you can actually create kind of a, kind of a sloppy border effect, if you will. So now once you've got to this point, if you wanted to come back and you wanted to adjust, you know, the brightness of that layer, uh, there you go, the density, the shadow density, you can see how you can play with that a lot. You could also apply a luminosity mask, which may or may not actually benefit. Let me turn that mask off. So if I clip out some of the shadows, you can see how it only darkens into the highlights and that doesn't really, doesn't really work for a, a border around your image. So. Anyway, there you go. Hope that's a cool tip for you and you enjoy that. Thank you guys.